The other explanation for why the marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to this ratio of the marginal product of labor and the marginal product of capital has to do with taking the total derivative of something, okay? So let's suppose we've got a function, an isoquant, and we've written it this way, okay? This is one way to write an isoquant. Q with a little bar over it indicates that the quantity is fixed. And we're saying, give me all combinations of K and L that satisfy this equation. That is, all combinations of K and L that when you stick them in the production function, they generate Q bar amount of output or food, okay? Now, the total derivative of something allows you to basically take, uh, take all derivatives at once. And kind of the intuition is that if you change uh, uh, capital by a little bit and you change uh, labor by a little bit and then you add that together, that's going to add up to the change in quantity, okay? And that's going to add up to the change in output, okay? But in this case, the change in output is, is always going to be zero because the definition of an isoquant is that there is no change in output. So we're going to take all derivatives. Uh, They add up to change in output. But since there's no possible change in output, they have to add up to zero in this case. If we take any change in K and change in L, they have to add up to uh, no possible change in output. But uh, this part here is going to be the derivative of F with respect to K times a small change in K plus the derivative with respect to L times a small change in L. And this is saying if you take, if you change all these things uh, by a small amount, you know, they're going to, they have to cancel each other out if they're going to stay on this line. And this is an equation that you can do, okay? So what's useful here is that we can just rewrite this a little bit. So the derivative of this production function with respect to K, well, that's just another name for the marginal product of capital times a small change in capital plus the derivative of the production function with a respect to a uh, L, that's another way of saying the marginal product of labor times a small change in the labor, okay? Now, these are equal to zero, so uh, let's put one of them on the other side, and we're gonna get MPK. This is equal to MPL times this, just by subtracting that from both sides. And then if we divide both sides by MPK, and if we also divide both sides by this little delta L, or partial L, these guys cancel here, these guys cancel here, and we end up with the partial derivative of K with respect to L, there's a negative sign there, is equal to MPL divided by MPK, or, you know, you can flip the negative sign over here by multiplying both sides by negative 1. And this is the MRTS is equal to the negative MPL divided by MPK. So that's another way to sort of derive this uh, relationship between the two that's more mathematically inclined.